So the first three measurements we have are plant health measurements. They are sugar percentage, pH, and EC. So sugar percentage gives us a really good understanding on two things, photosynthetic ability of the plant and the ability for the plant to translocate and utilize those sugars. It's a feedstock for everything in the plant and it comes from the most important uh, process, photosynthesis. So when you have the plant that's too uh, low in the sugar production, as you can see here, it means that photosynthesis is off, which is likely to be uh, a mineral deficiency. Next is pH. pH is a really interesting one. It can tell you whether or not you're missing cations or anions, as well as potential pest and fungi uh, pressure. So of course we have our ideal levels on this test. It's a little bit high, so it's past that, this range suggesting that we have missing anions. So anions such as nitrate, sulfur, boron, phosphorus, as well as uh, chloride, there's a potential uh, missing amount of those, which would lead us into uh, potential pest pressure. And finally, our uh, electrical conductivity. So this is the amount of uh, dissolved minerals or uh, ions in our plant sap. This is also a really good indicator or whether or not we have potential excesses when, when it's a high number, or whether or not the plant's actually not taking up enough nutrients. And so we can detect uh, root damage or limitations in the root zone to prevent the uptake of nutrients.